Hello and welcome to another great tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Mohammed and in this tutorial I will be showing you the three tap remote desktop programs and how they work. I wouldn't go into specific details but I'll show you how it works generally. Now first thing you can please do go ahead and um, visit my channel and you can just look through the videos here there's loads and uh, you know go ahead and subscribe, comment, rate, like click on the advertisement that comes up, you know, it all helps. Um, so yeah, that's that, and you can also leave your request right here, uh, and I'll reply as soon as possible. This was only requested today, so you can see the service isn't that bad. Uh, this is a requested story, yes, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the three programs that I will be looking at is Join Me, Team Viewer, and, sorry, Team Viewer, uh, and Remote um, Log Me In. So these are the three top ones that I've used. I've also used other ones, but I find these the most interesting and is um, easier to use. Now let's start with Log Me In. Log Me In is basically web-based. The only thing that you have to download is this right here. So if you want to share your screen, you will have to download an app. Now I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to open it from here. There it is. And when you download the app, just double click on it and click run. Now what will happen is it'll turn up, but it will go back to the Windows theme for some reason. Okay. Uh, so what you do is you right click on this. This is your number. So if you want to share your screen, you'll need this number. Copy your link to keyboard, uh, clipboard, and just paste it here. Um, you don't need all of this. All you need is the numbers, and you go ahead and click join. And what happens is it just loads up with their screen, and that's it. Now, don't worry about this. It's only doing this because I'm doing it to my own screen, which is actually quite weird. Uh, you can also chat on here. So you can chat here, and the, you'll get a little notification on the side. Uh, you can also see how many people are, who is, who's watching it, who's the viewer, who's the presenter. You can pause the screen. You can also con uh, request for remote access, and you can get a conference call, but don't worry about that too much. So, yeah. And what you can also do is you can select the monitor, which I don't think many really will need. So, going back, um, let's just go ahead and refresh that. So, that's the number one. That's the top one. We better mix it that. Uh, yes. Whatever. Now, uh, second one would be Team Viewer. Now, Team Viewer is a great program. This is what I started off with as using a uh, remote desktop. And um, let's go ahead and look at this then, shall we? Team Viewer, you can run the setup. And one of the good things about this, this is that you can also run it. So let's just run it now. Okay, here we are. Uh, it'll provide you with this interface. I'm using a free non-commercial use. Non-commercial use only is free, but uh, commercial use is costly. Okay. Now this is your ID. All you do is you give it to your partner and he'll put it into there, connect to partner, and then you give him the password and it's that easy as it can get. If you want to do a file transfer, you just click file transfer and so on. Moving on to my third top remote desktop program is log me in. Log me in is also very simple, but it can be a little bit complicated depending on the functionality that you want to use. So all you do is you create an account, you follow the screens along, and it'll show you how to do everything. Um, don't worry, you won't get stuck because it's actually quite simply straightforward. Um, so if you want to do, if you want to use web-based remote access, then you want to use Join Me or Log Me In. If you want to use a program. Um, then you want to go for Team Viewer. But I would recommend using Join Me. A lot easier and job can be quickly done. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you need any further help, please do feel free to comment down below or send me an inbox. Uh, apart from that, don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.